With that nasty, nasty commute that millions of Americans are facing up and down the East Coast this morning, they're still digging out from a monster storm that dropped record snowfall and killed at least six people. Our own Dave Price is on the National Mall in Washington, which was hit extremely hard by the storm. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Chris. 16.4 inches right here at Washington's Reagan National Airport. The biggest December snowstorm on record, the old record all the way back in 1962. This morning, area schools in Washington, D.C. and Maryland, Virginia closed. The federal government closed for all non-essential workers in this area and indeed all along the Northeast. They're just trying to clean up. It was a monster storm that clobbered the Northeast over the weekend, wreaking havoc on roads and dumping record snowfall from Virginia to New England. New York's Long Island was hit the hardest with up to 25 inches of snow, the most since 1947. Philadelphia got its fair share, 23 inches, its second largest snowfall since it began keeping records in 1884. Further north, Cape Cod was socked with more than 20 inches. Still, these 13 hardy folks managed to make it to this outdoor wedding. In Washington, over 16 inches of snow fell Saturday, the most ever for a December day. But the storm was a chance for the first dog, Bo, to unleash as he experienced his first taste of snow. And even though these people brave the harsh weather for some last minute Christmas shopping. But I gotta get the Christmas presents, you know? I can't upset my family. Retailers are worried that the storm could have a chilling effect on what was supposed to be the busiest shopping weekend of the year. It'll be a while before life returns to normal, but for many, all that snow came with an added benefit, a little bit of fun, and the promise of a rare white Christmas. I think it's fantastic. Oh, I wish I was here more often in a blizzard. Now keep in mind, this was the third highest single day snowfall in the District of Columbia since 1884. They've worked all weekend, metro stations now opened here, but so much of what melted during the day yesterday has now refrozen. The commute here is gonna be treacherous all morning and at airports all around this region and indeed throughout the Northeast, they're playing a big game of not only cleanup, but catch up.